What is up y'all, Scott here. Today we are out on the mountain bike trail testing out the new cable cam rig that I put together a few videos ago. Check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. Today we are going to try to set the cable cam up, get some shots, and basically get prepped for a shoot that we're gonna be doing later this year where we wanna run the cable cam for a bunch of different angles on this trail. If you're new to the channel, we focus on outdoor adventure filmmaking and photography and talk tips and tricks and do behind the scenes of the shoots that I go on. So if that's interesting to you, think about hitting that subscribe button down below. So right now I'm looking for a window where I can see a path for the cable to actually travel. Uh, I'm looking behind me here and I'm seeing a bit of a corridor that looks like it could be an interesting opportunity. Another thing that I'm looking for is having objects that will obscure the view periodically, so trees that are in the way, not having it just be a completely clear shot that I could achieve with a drone. I want this to be something that uh, is a little bit more technical and that uh, using a cable is really the only way to accomplish it. If that's a smaller fur beside it? Yeah. That's like 200 feet at least. At least, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so I think we roughly have it figured out. We want to feature the jump behind here and then we want to feature the bridge that's under us. So um, we're going to try to get a shot that goes up this canyon and the camera's going to come down and be able to pass over and go up to this tree up here. So. Um, we're gonna just rig this out and see if it works. This is my first time setting up a cable like this. Uh, Mark has a bit of experience doing this with other filmmakers, but we're just gonna give it a go and see if it works. This is the one jump that I keep tarped on this whole line because it's just like such a mint dirt lip that I want it to always be perfect. And I've literally had this tarped like all winter long. So I'm really excited to see if it held up and it's still really smooth. Oh yeah, the old tire marks are still there. <laughs> That's sick, eh? That's good to go. It's like rock hard. <laughs> nice. Yeah. In terms of positions of So if it was to this one, what is that angle like? Let me get that tight for a sec. That's not enough of a slope. If I go higher on this tree, might work. All right. This is a good system. It's like one of the smoother setups I've ever done so far with a cable cam, which is really good for Scott's like very first go at it. We finally got things set up. Scott's up there right now. He's gonna do a test run with just the dolly and it might not be quite steep enough, we might have a little too much slack, we're not sure yet, but we're gonna throw it down with the dolly only, which is a lot lighter, so it's not like that accurate, but it's accurate enough. And then we'll have a good sense of this. It's pretty sick, it's like 300 feet long we're estimating, and it should be able to get us like multiple shots because we can get a side profile of the run-in for the step down up there. Then we can get another shot where it's just like a side pan of the big step up right here, and then we might even be able to get like a head-on sliding pan shot of the step down as well. So lots of angles, lots of possibilities, and a lot easier than trying to navigate a drone through all these trees. All right, I'm gonna send the cart. So the first rundown was pretty successful. It's a little scary seeing the cart go that fast and it doesn't even have the camera on it yet. So we've got the towels here as before. Uh, I'm kind of wishing I had brought maybe two or three more towels for the speed that this is going, but we're gonna send it down again, this time with just the gimbal and then we'll work up to the camera. So gradually increasing the weight um, and gradually more expensive equipment basically. So we'll see how this next run goes. It's definitely hanging lower now. <laughs> Mark has added a tarp to the line down at the bottom, which is hopefully going to add a little bit more stopping power. Okay, sending! Oh, it hit a branch. Oh, that buffer works perfectly. All right, that worked pretty good. I cleared a branch out of the way, so we have a pretty clear path. We're going to set the camera up on the gimbal, and then we're going to run this thing down for the first true test run. Stoked. We're finally going to try it with the camera now and see how it works. All right, we're good. Whoa. <laughs> it stops good. 
So first run was a little bit scary. The camera clipped a branch. It was heavier than I had anticipated. So the gimbal shut off, it spun out. I think lesson learned there is before you run any cable cam, run it on a leash first. Make sure that you can actually clear the whole line before you send a camera down. Good lesson to learn for the future. We're gonna send another one now with Mark as soon as he gets ready and see how this works with a rider in the shot. I'm stoked. So we've kind of got the timing figured out. I've had Mark walk the line a bit and sort of guess how long it takes him to get from the, the spot that he's at now to the step down. And so we've got about five seconds of cable time that we need to have that shot line up. And so this is our best guess for this first run. It's probably gonna take a few tries to get this right, but I think we're gonna get something that's at least usable. Of course, as soon as we're actually doing the real rundown, the sun comes out and makes for hard lighting conditions. So we're gonna hold out here for a minute, see if we get better conditions. It's kind of a mixed sunny, cloudy day because you just can't get really good shots in the forest um, when the sun is, is kind of creating those harsh shadows and uh, very strong contrast. Oh. All right, that one seemed pretty good. I'm very curious to see what this footage looks like. So after each run, I just hook this leash up onto the setup and I just drag the camera. Just take my, my camera for a walk. Once I'm up at the top, I just clip the this big clip on here and that holds the trolley on the line. And I can do all the settings I need to do with the camera or anything like that. And then when I'm ready to let it go, I can just unclip this, unclip my leash, and let the camera fly. Okay, ready? Oh nice, you got me way earlier. Yeah, totally. Oh, that's like sick. You still got the step down. Yeah, that's it's sick. pretty dope. Last run worked out really well. Got a shot I'm pretty stoked about. Uh, we're not going to worry about getting the perfect shot today. This is just really about testing the equipment, making sure it works, and you know, trying to get some cool shots in the process. So pretty stoked with that one. We're going to run the camera down on the same line now, different angle. I'm going to try shooting this one at 60 frames a second, and we're going to catch him going off of the next jump. And basically, we're just trying to get as many setups as possible out of a single line. Um, this is a bit of a lesson I took from Scott Secco. He recommended you know setting up lines that you can get multiple angles because you know it's taken us an hour to two hours to get this set up and dialed in so we want to get as many shots from that as possible oh man that's gonna look good I'm really surprised how smooth that is whoa <laughs> that's sick that's awesome I'm pretty stoked on this thing man yeah yeah Cable cam's working out really well so far. I think the next thing we're gonna try is a tighter shot of that first angle. So I think that'll be good. Yeah, we'll put a long yeah. lens on, do that first angle and try to just like hone in right on Mark's riding. Right, doing a long lens shot like this on a cable without any remote control is really tricky. It's probably not gonna work out on this first go, but we're gonna give it a try and, and just hope for the best. But if this shot comes out, it's gonna look so freaking dope. <laughs> it's kind of like developing film. You gotta hike through the woods before you get to see the results of your work. All right, let's see this last clip. Like well, there's that, that moment, you know, yeah, which, yeah. you know, if it was in slow motion, you could like that blew by really spread quick. that out, but it's so yeah. fast. If we could get one of those to be nailed, that would be, that would be so sick. I yeah. think it's just like a matter of finding a line that's straight. Like if we were tracking you in complete profile, instead yeah. of me coming at a 45 degree angle, yeah, we have then it would keep yeah. speed with you better. Okay. So I think there's possibities for yeah. sure, but that's uh, sweet, man. yeah, it was a good try. Yeah. All right, so one more walkthrough for those folks that might not have seen the first video. We basically have the trolley made out of a piece of wood. We've got a couple pulleys here that have removable axles to secure it to the line. I've built this DIY cloud mount setup with some insulated cable that are clamped onto these plates. And this just takes out a lot of the uh, vibration that the gimbal would receive from the line. And then we've got the Ronin S connected to this and the GH5 connected to the Ronin S and then some towels as a stopper. And then everything is just held tight with come alongs and ratchet straps um, to hold this quarter inch rope, which seems to be working pretty well. Today was a success. I'm feeling pretty happy with the footage that I've got. Excited to get it on the computer and really take a look at it in more detail. Um, what do you think, Mark? How did it go? That was sweet, man. I can't believe like how well it worked first try. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was expecting, like every time I've shot with a cable cam, it's been such a struggle. So, I mean, we did have some problems, but that's to be expected so yeah. i think it's 
it's a win today for yeah, sure definitely a win pretty pretty excited to put this to use in a video this coming fall so until the next video get out there make something beautiful i'll see y'all soon peace